Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Hey, if you've been checking out your Google Analytics and you've seen something inside of the OS or the operating system device area called Safari in app and you've got questions about it, I'm gonna talk about it right now. This video is brought to you by Liquid Web. Give them a shout out and ask them about their awesome WordPress hosting solutions and support. So when you drill into your Google Analytics and you head over here to audience and you drill down into technology and you see browser OS, browser operating system, right? When you look in there, you might just kind of scroll through here and see all the names that you're very familiar with, Chrome, Ruby, Safari, Firefox, so forth and so on. But down here, you might see something that says Safari in app. So what does that mean? Where is that coming from? Well, it's actually all to do with a cell phone. So whenever you have anybody seeing a link for your website inside of Facebook or any social media for that matter, if they're running on Safari as their default browser inside of their phone and they open up inside of that app, it's gonna open up Safari by default because that's the default browser on Apple devices. More than likely, that's what it's gonna pull from whenever you start to see this little Safari in app option. So what does that actually mean for you? Well, what it means is you're getting some pretty good traffic that they're actually finding your link inside of those social networks. They're seeing your link in your profile and they're clicking on it and they're opening it up. But it also means that you need to be testing inside of that browser, if you will, inside of that in-app experience. You need to remember that sometimes websites can look a little different. So you need to be searching your website, making certain that you can check out whenever you're in that in-app type browser environment. Be sure to test all of that. You also might see a higher bounce rate happen inside of that one particular tracked line. Check this out. You're gonna see here that on Chrome, a bounce rate is you know about 59%. Down here on in-app Safari, you're gonna see 100%. It's very common that you're gonna see that higher bounce rate kick up in an in-app environment. Why is that? Pretty obvious in a sense that they're just inside of the social network right now. They're playing around inside of Facebook. They're looking at cat pictures on Instagram. They're doing all sorts of other stuff and they happen to pop into your website for a minute. They're gonna click their back button and go back to the social network. This isn't necessarily a bad thing to have that bounce rate be so high. Obviously, you'd like to have it lower, but I would suggest that you grab your mobile device today and tinker around with your website inside of a social network to be absolutely certain that you can check out if there's a checkout process or you can fill out the form or click to call to be certain that their calls to action can be completed, and that conversions can still happen in that in-app experience. Hey, if you're looking for more really cool resources just like this to help you inside of social media marketing, be sure to check out all the other videos I have on this channel. Like the video, subscribe to my channel because every Wednesday I'm creating content just like this to help you improve your online marketing inside of the world of WordPress. This was brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If you're running a WordPress website, be sure to check them out because they're gonna offer, in my opinion, the best hosting solution out there today. They've got great security and great support. All right, I'll see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, everyone.